Hey, warriors. Thanks for tuning in to the Invisible Diaries, where we shed light on invisible and chronic illnesses through community support, education, and advocacy. Welcome to episode 12. We are your hosts. I'm Misty. And I'm Amber. And today we are talking about traveling with chronic illness. As always, a quick disclaimer, anything mentioned in today's episode is strictly for informational purposes only and not meant to treat, diagnose, or cure disease. Also, we know battling chronic illness can be difficult, so if you find that you or a loved one are in need of someone to talk to, please reach out to a trusted resource. Or if you're in the U.S., you can call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, that number is 1-800-273-8255. Awesome. So we both absolutely love this topic because (laughs) we both love to travel a lot. And that's really Mm -hmm. hard to do when you have a chronic illness. I know a lot of people, they just like don't even bother because it's really intimidating and it can be a little, you know, a little bit of anxiety about it and I mean, it's an ordeal, so I can understand why a lot of people just don't bother, but, um, you know, for us, we've kind of been working through it for so long that we're kind of developing our own little expertise and our tips and tricks, and we just want to share that today. Absolutely. So, you said you're going to like a convention (laughs) or something. I am. (laughs) Give me your tips and I'll give you mine. (laughs) <laughs> so when this when this episode comes out, I'll have already gone. Um, but it's kind of an example, I guess, of a staycation because it's in one of our um, local big metropolitan areas um, in Orlando, and it is a lot of um, walking and sitting and um, like temperature fluctuations because you know you're freezing cold in conference rooms and then you go to other ones and they're burning up. So I actually. Um, first take my own cooler of food, which is huge. Um, I invested, I invested, um, my husband and I invested in a Yeti, uh, 35 quart, which is like the perfect size that you can put on like the bellhop, um, cart and take it up to the hotel. And it keeps, you know, you have the ice machines you can keep, you know, but I take things like, um, my shake stuff to make sure that if I'm missing a meal, I don't miss a meal with that kind of stuff. Cause sometimes conferences let out late you know, you get off your normal routine. Um, I make sure I, yeah, I make sure I have, um, all the things that I like as far as comfort food. Mm. (laughs) Um, because I just have been burned too many times when I eat out and I get off of that schedule and then it ends up, I come back and I need a week to recover because I've gotten either gluten or I've gotten some sort of preservative that has just knocked me off of my rear end. So, so I definitely bring a cooler. I definitely travel with water bottles like I never leave anywhere without water I don't know (laughs) if it's Florida or what but um I I take my water bottle I take let's see for those of you that can um see us for those of you listening I have like a seat pad and it's like memory foam so if I'm if I'm in a place that either does not have very good back support and it's got a little strap on the back so I just put it on my roll around luggage um that I can either sit on it for my tailbone if like my legs are starting to do not fun things or I can put it behind my back. So that's been really helpful. Or if I'm taking notes and let's say I'm in a um, convention area that doesn't necessarily have a desk, I can put it on my lap and it raises everything up. So that's really helpful. And she's going to give me the links for some of these yeah. and I'll share <laughs> mine and we'll put them on our, our post because this is some good stuff and I want those links too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I invested in this amazing little USB fan. Um, for those of you listening, Misty and I, if you don't know already, live in the South where it is literally on fire <laughs> 12 months mm-hmm. out of the year, I swear. Um, so this actually just charges. I can use my backup battery charger. I can use a car um, charger. It has a little... Uh, connection and it is so high powered and it lasts forever it's like amazing so I got that off Amazon we'll link that I have a little um packet that I keep in my bag that has anti-nausea tablets it has ginger candies it has magnesium supplements anything that if I start to feel not quite right I can just go into that little bag and and I have it I love that (laughs) Um, I'll drop extra medicine in there too, to make sure that I don't forget my meds. So, but yeah, I yes. was 
So I make sure those and then the magnesium packets and the liquid IV, which I think you use mm -hmm. banana bag. So yeah, you know, some sort of electrolyte supplement that I can just drop in a bottle of water and go. So I love those it. are my favorites for sure. So for me, when I travel, um, I, like you said, packing extra medication is super important because like, if you get delayed in any way, like say if you flew and your flight's canceled for a day, maybe even two things happen, or if you're driving, you blow a tire and you, you can't fix it until the next day. I mean, things happen. So always, always, always be prepared and have a couple days extra worth of medications. For me, I usually end up just bringing in the whole bottle because I don't want to have to separate all that stuff. And like when I get to my destination, I like unpack it all in the sink, just like I do at home. Um, Cause then I, it's visual. I see it. I don't forget. Um, also agree with bringing extra medications that may not necessarily be in your daily routine. So like, um, in case you get a fever or in case you get the craps <laughs> or <laughs> anything that could happen, you are prepared. Yeah. Um, so I always like to bring the extra stuff like that. Um, I also have like a little goodie bag too. Like you had, you know, a great thing to use. Like if, if you're, if you get the makeup, like the Ipsy bags, for example, um, that's a great bag. You can kind of fill that with like the ginger candies for anti-nausea. I'm addicted to those too. I love those. Um, so good. And then um, I'll put in like the banana bag packets. That's that's my favorite. That's not like if I know I'm going to be out all day, it's hot. It's right. um, It kind of helps boost up your blood volume and it's loaded with vitamins. So it's uh, really great for especially dysautonomia and keeping hydrated. Um, I always bring a bottle of a thousand milligram vitamin C. So I take extra while I travel because I'm exposed and my immune system is, you know, not as healthy and you're not getting usually as much rest as you would get at home when you're traveling. So I try to give it the extra boost. Um, I also will bring a mask because mm -hmm. especially being on an airplane or if I'm going to be like somewhere where I feel like my immune system is compromised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will wear a mask. I actually make my husband wear a mask too. Um, even though he doesn't necessarily need it, but he doesn't mind it. He actually likes it. And yeah. then we both look like weirdos together. And that also helps. So like if he gets sick, you know, I'm going to end up getting sick. So I'm protecting Absolutely. him too. So um, <laughs> I love the idea of also bringing a cooler, you know, like, so if we're driving, having the cooler is great. I'm making sure we're stocked with water and snacks because again, just like Amber said, um, sometimes you can't always promise when you go out to eat that you're not going to have some type of sensitivity or reaction to the food. And so it's also a great way to save money. Um, so, oh, another thing I'll bring in my little bag is I love tea and tea is one of my comfort mm -hmm. things. So I have like yeah. peppermint tea, ginger tea, um, tea to help me sleep, all the tea, Smooth, <laughs> which is like one of my go-tos. Yeah. So it's just nice because, you know, they always have like a coffee maker or maybe in the lobby where you can get hot water or something, mm -hmm. or even just like when you're out, you know, and go to a restaurant, I have them in my purse so that I can just ask for hot water. I have my own tea, um, right. that's decaf and that they probably don't even have. So, um, you know, then I'm able to kind of get the benefits from that and the comfort Absolutely. from that. Let's see what else. Um, sometimes I'll bring, I have like a portable that breaks down um, cane. Mm -hmm. I don't use it often, but like if I'm going to, if I know I'm going to be traveling or walking around a lot that day. So like, for example, we went to the other coast of Florida. We went to like Ybor City in Tampa and it was a really hot day and my blood pressure was already low and um, we were basically going to be walking around for a couple hours. So I brought it. So it's good to have because then if I, if I do have really low blood pressure and it dips a little, um, I have that extra support. So it's nice to kind of have something to lean on. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, you know, like my ligaments and joints and stuff get sore from the impact from walking so much. So it kind of helps to alleviate that. Um, and it's also come in handy too. Like, for example, like going to theme parks. Cause I, that's my gym <laughs> membership. <laughs> and like, I started bringing that in my bag sometimes, um, depending on the, you know, how long I'm there because like, there's been times where I was like at Disney and I was like, I just overdid it. I was feeling yeah. good. I overdid it. 
and then I'm like it hits me and then I'm like I have to get out of here and I don't know how because like I feel like I can barely walk my I I, my blood pressure is low I'm in so much pain and I'm like why didn't I ring that like because I need it now to get out of here um so having like just those little extra things are really important too um any help can you think of yeah, I also carry, um, let me grab it really quick. It's called a Pop Babies a blender. And again, we'll link it. I got it off Amazon. But it's like, again, the same little like USB charge, not USB. What is this thing called? The micro USB maybe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but it oh, works wow. so well because it literally, and I actually use this for school a lot of times too, because right now I'm in classes that are kind of in the middle of my day. And if I don't eat when I'm supposed to, I get very wonky. So um, this is charged and then I can just add right into it and then I can take it with me into class and I can finish my smoothie in class. So, or if I have a break, you know, I just go out to my cooler in my car because I keep a cooler in my car like a weirdo. Um, And and I just make a smoothie really quick and then go back in. So that's been a big game changer with regards to getting nutrition in quickly without Mm -hmm. having to eat those high carb nutrition bars because those are not my favorite as far as. <laughs> as oh, that's far as. awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to so, yeah. check that out. So, um, yeah. Um, neck another pillows suggestion. I love too. Sorry. Oh, you're what good, is it? You're good. Neck pillows? The, yeah. Yeah. The neck pillows. I love those. Like, especially yes. on the airplane, like you say, cause it's like, you oh. know, having joint pain <laughs> and yeah, it's just nice to like take the pressure off of your neck sometimes. So. Yeah. And you know, it's so great to buy those in advance because you can get them for like a couple bucks, five bucks. I've seen oh, them. Yeah. But yeah, when you, you go to the airport, they're like 20 something, 20 bucks oh, at yeah, least. Sure. And they're so, great because they, a lot of them snap or tie on now. So now you don't even have to like carry them. Yeah. Just snap them onto your backpack or bag. Backpack I love it. is the other thing too. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's true. I love <laughs> or roll a around backpack. bag. Mm-hmm. We'll just pack an empty backpack sometimes in our suitcase, and then that way, like when we do travel around, like we'll just load it up with the essentials. So we're walking around, and my husband Absolutely. wears it. And we're good yeah. to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, another important tip too, like if you're traveling, I always suggest to research the destination, research mm-hmm. the location you're going to. I'm a nerd and I do that anyway because like I want to know where I'm going to eat and I want to make my plans and um, kind of familiarize myself. But uh, there's a lot of things you can find out just with the research too. Like um, I don't know if I'm going to say it right, but someone actually reached out to me because I'm planning to go to Arizona at some point and there's some type of Phoenix fever or I'll have to look it up again, some type of fever. And they're like, I just wanted you to be careful because um, of whatever that is. So I'll have to look into that. So, good to know. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, that's something that is good to know to kind of keep an eye out, but also, um, even just kind of having an idea where like the closest like walk-in clinic or hospital is, because yeah. if something were to happen, um, it would be ideal to kind of have an idea that, cause things do happen. Things you know? do happen. And it's important that if you have insurance to know what kind of coverage you have out of area so like Mm -hmm. um you know if we're traveling overseas we obviously get travel insurance because you just never know and you want to make sure that you are covered in the event of an emergency yeah so that's it's scary too so I had um I was in Miami and I had I basically started hemorrhaging I had a surgery and it was really scary like I had never been so scared um And so there were like a couple hospitals. And so, you know, I had to like take the time to, um, you know, look on the maps and try to figure out which one was closer and which one, you know, and all that stuff. And, you know, not that it took forever to do that, but like, it would have been nice to already know off the top of my head, like, okay, we're going to this hospital. I need to go to this hospital. Um, because I wasn't familiar with the area. And so when I had to go there, you know, I would, it just, it took a lot, like a little bit of time just to kind of figure out like choose which one would be best. Um, you know, and, and even just like making sure you do have like all of your doctor's phone numbers. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like we all have phones and I'm sure most of the time they're in their phones, but sometimes if you have so many doctors, like maybe they're not all in there. 
Um, it'd be good to have like in your notes somewhere or even like written down just a list of your doctors, their names, their phone numbers, because that was another thing too. I had to call the doctor to the surgery and it's like, you know, well, having to find that. And the other important thing on that topic is that's why I carry that micro USB with all of my health records on it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when you're traveling, especially if you're flying where things are weighted, you know, and a lot of us have very intense amounts of paper, <laughs> right? Um, you know, you don't want to necessarily carry all of your health records that way. So like all of my important records, I scan in and then I have the USB drive. So if there is an emergency, my husband can hand it to the physician and be like, here's her past medical history, medical procedures, you know, everything up to date. So they can see without, you know, if I'm unconscious conscious, or if I'm just not able to articulate or remember, because a lot of times when you're not feeling well, your brain's not functioning on all exactly. cylinders. So well, there's even, a, there's even a, sorry, there's even an option on like the iPhone. Like if you hit the emergency, there's like the medical ID. And if you fill that out, it's under your settings. Um, you can put in like mine, mine is all there has his phone number and which isn't always necessarily like the best case in case your phone's dead or, you know, not on you or something, but it's also a good option to an fill option. out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Also, there's an app that I love. Um, both my son and I can't have gluten. And so it, there's an app called Find Me GF. And basically, wherever you're traveling, um, it pulls up all of the restaurants that are gluten -friendly. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it's really, it makes it super easy if you're traveling somewhere that you don't know. And you can find it by address, best rated, um, restaurants that are dedicated gluten-free. So nice. um, we'll, we'll tag that too, because it's a very helpful app. <laughs> Yeah, that would be much easier because like usually what I do is I'll sit there and I'll look up vegan restaurants and normally yep. <laughs> a lot of vegan places will have gluten-free and stuff too. But um, it's funny because like, like I said, anytime I do go to town, like I already know. So like we'll be with like family or meet up with other people or something and they're like, oh, where do you want to meet? I'm like, this is where we're going. <laughs> and I, I already it. know what I'm ordering. Yeah. Um, oh, and digestive enzymes are something I also put in yeah. my little medical kit, just because if you are eating out and you're eating at places that maybe, you know, you're not familiar with, just in case for those of you that have food sensitivities or have a hard time breaking things down. For me, Misty and I both have very random reactions. Sometimes it can be environmental, sometimes it can be food related, sometimes it can be both. So those digestive enzymes just help eliminate one of the factors, you know, yeah. to help. And actually, sidebar, um, <laughs> I saw the geneticist actually on Saturday, which was really cool. I got a lot of information. Um, and one of the things he suggested too, he said that I should start taking Zyrtec every day mm -hmm. um, because of the mass cell. Mass so cell. he said that's, yeah. he, <laughs> that's what, he said that's what's going on. <laughs> well, I, see, I always kind of just thought like, well, I don't break out in hives. I don't show right. it like visually or anaphylactic. And he's like, that's more let that's less common right he's right. like you the way you know not showing those is more common so I was like oh right okay so now I got to kind of learn a little more about that because I got that yeah. official diagnosis but having the zero tech too so you know taking that as, I call it pre-gaming <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like Absolutely. I'm pre-gaming for my all of an episode to and hopefully prevent it exactly that's exactly it because I'm the same way I don't want to take anything I don't have to take and so having to take Zyrtec every day was like a hard one for me to get over but mm -hmm. the amount of episodes where I just like randomly burst out in hives has left oh yeah by a lot so it's yeah and there's other little things you can kind of pack too, like um disinfectant wipes so like say you're you are somewhere and on you know, the airplane like, even, wipe down yeah, or a restaurant. Know, tray table and the armrest, yeah. Just anything, for me, anything I can do, like, while I'm not in my little home bubble um, yeah. to kind of keep myself uh, healthy and, you know, in a better Absolutely. environment. So, um, Absolutely. and another tip, too, for, like, traveling is to make sure to make time for rest because, like, a lot of times when we travel, we're, like, we pencil in like every minute <laughs> of the day, like, okay, we're having breakfast. We're waking up at 6 a.m. and we're going to have breakfast and we're going to do this and we're going to go here and there and there. And then the next thing you know, it's like, okay, like there's just make sure you have time to poop and rest and right. lay down and down get time. some, yeah. Like even mm -hmm. if it's just like going to the park and having a picnic yeah. or something, like yeah. anything you can find. Um, so you're just not like overdoing it because you do have to come home and go back to reality and life and 
um, you know, we only have so many spoons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> very um, true. And then, of course, staying hydrated, super important, um, yeah. especially flying, traveling, any of that. Like, we want to stay hydrated on a regular basis anyway, but like traveling really just kind of makes it even that easier to get dehydrated for sure. Yeah. And a lot of physicians, um, I mean, it's usually not covered by insurance, but like we have a really great place around us called Vitalifts that, you know, you can do what's called like a Myers cocktail, which if you know, you're going to be traveling it basically intravenously, you're getting, you know, vitamin C and you're getting glutathione, you're getting things that boost your system so mm -hmm. that you're just, you know, helping that little bit of extra precaution before you, yeah. leave you come back. So those are great. They're expensive. I can't wait till they come down a little bit, but I know. sometimes you can find deals on Groupon. <laughs> yeah, I'm going out of town this weekend and I have fluids scheduled for the next day. <laughs> I really wish I scheduled one before though, because I was trying to save a cat and it was like really hot out and I was outside <laughs> for an hour and like screwed up my whole week. Um, yeah. Compression socks are great too for Love traveling, yep. especially and making sure you take like walks and stretch. Like, so if you are out in the car for a long time to make sure you stretch or if you're in an airplane, yeah. like just even if you don't have to go to the bathroom, get up, walk to the bathroom anyway to like get your yeah. body moving. Mm -hmm. um, really important. And what else? Which goes with comfortable clothing too, like yeah, making sure that, you know, we all want to look cute and, you know, we all want to be ready for the gram, but like we really, <laughs> comfort, comfort has to take precedence. As That's far what as, bathrooms you know, are for. As soon as yeah. you land, you go to the bathroom and put on your, you know, nice cute clothes. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I always, um, I'll always like pack really comfortable shoes that are easy to take off. So when I'm going through like the, you know, security and all that. Right. Um, it, it's just easier, you know, when I have those little travel ballet flats, um, that like zip in a little, yeah. they're like a tiny little, and I'll throw those. Cause sometimes, you know, especially like for this weekend, it's a work conference, you know? And so, you know, you, I want to have a little bit of a nicer shoe, but if, if they start bothering me and, you know, for me, like joint tame, like forget it. I'm slapping on those mm -hmm. <laughs> little ballet flats. So those are Let's helpful see. too. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I mean, it seems like a lot of stuff to pack, but really like it's important if you want to travel and you, you have health issues, you know, like it, you got, you have to really do it and do it well. Because like I said, like if you're at a hotel and it's, you know, midnight and you spike a fever and you, you know, you're in an unfamiliar area, the, the last thing you want to do is have to go on the hunt for, you know, something for your fever. Absolutely. that may not have something in the lobby for you or you know things might not be open or now you have to have this additional trip and this extra money like another thing I do too is like I pack snacks uh, like yeah. non-perishable snacks like I'll, I'll I'll get a box of um actually I put usually I'll put like a, a, ba a ziploc bag of the oatmeal because mm -hmm. that's easy mm -hmm. hot water yeah good to go and, you can, and, and you can get hot water on the plane which is great so like a lot of times you yeah can hot water so you can have your oatmeal and your tea and then you know, you're not having to buy airplane food or, um, and that's the other great thing about having a cooler, like guys, it doesn't have to be some big cooler. I mean, obviously we're staying a weekend, so we have a little bit of bigger cooler, but I have a small little ankle cooler, which a link, I, that's the one I keep in my car. And so, you know, I'll put fresh because we call it like an emergency food kit. You don't want to find yourself you know, you're running errands and things are happening and all of a sudden you don't have water or you don't. And I know we live in a great time where you can run into the gas station and grab things, but the goal is to not expend energy where you don't have to. So, mm -hmm. you know, having that in your um, arsenal of tools, you know, and having it ready to go when you leave the yeah. you know, leave, then it's great. So you Absolutely. don't find yourself in those emergency situations as much. Um. Another thing too, I always bring headphones so that I can kind of like tune out the chaos. Like if when I'm traveling, like if I'm on a plane, um, but another, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, another important thing too. Well, before I get to there, let me go back. So sometimes like when I have like, I get a lot of pain, like here, like upper back, Cervical. neck area. Mm -hmm. There you go. She knows. Um, <laughs> 
And so there's even been times where I've brought like a heating pad, pack heating pad, mm-hmm. or even just like a pain balm because I, I make yeah. CBD pain balms, I'll pack those because um, that's another thing too, is making sure we manage our pain as mm-hmm. well, because sometimes those uncomfortable positions are overdoing it, you know, you get pain. So you sure. bringing like the braces or that tape, anything that yeah. can kind of give you the extra support in case you need it. Um, and then one other tip I wanted to throw in is so like now that we have a podcast, I am obsessed with podcasts, <laughs> but I'm specifically obsessed with one called crime junkie. I've been subscribing to them <sighs> since the beginning. Obsessed. It's so good. Like I've They're literally amazing. caught up and listened to all of them. My yep. husband's into it too. They're going to be in Orlando. I know. Actually, I saw that. And They're I'm amazing. going. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love them. So um, now I'm like super obsessed with all that stuff and anything crime and missing people and all that, which is kind of morbid, but it's important. So what if I go missing folder? (laughs) Yes, exactly. So if you are going to travel alone, um, Mm -hmm. you know, which hopefully you have a companion or someone to help you, but if not, um, you know, make sure that you stay connected to somebody or even just like, even if it's just like a friend and you just say, hey, look, I'm traveling. I just want to keep you in the loop of my, you know, while I'm gone in case something were to happen to me. So that way somebody kind of has an idea where you're at, what you're doing, um, you know, because there's, there are a, a million crazy, horrible cases out there. Like, you know, like what if you're hiking and you're alone and, you know, just, I mean, you never know. So it's, it's really important to make sure you kind of stay connected for sure. That someone knows, yeah, your itinerary, where you're going to be staying, you know, how long you plan on staying. It's just really important to just communicate with with a designated Mm -hmm. advocate for sure. Yes. (laughs) And then of course, you know, last thing for me, I guess would just be to listen to your body and, um, you know, sometimes it's hard to do when we're traveling, but, um, you know, like, yeah, it's important to listen to your body. Absolutely. I think that those are amazing tips. I think you touched on a lot of great things. So yeah, I think that was a good one. I don't think there's anything else I can think of so far. If you have any tips, you know, maybe we'll do a post whenever we um, announce this episode being available and have other people tag like their go-to and, you know, what they do and then have like a nice little collection. We're always about the hacks and tips and tricks. <laughs> oh yeah, for anything. <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in to episode yes. 12 and feel free to reach out to us at any time. If you have any suggestions, you can find us on Facebook at The Invisible Diaries um, and make sure you subscribe. And another thing, leave us five stars because then that'll help people to kind of notice us more and stumble upon us and, you know, hope hopefully we could help them um in some way or another absolutely and as we grow you know hopefully our production quality and everything gets grows with us but you know we're on a journey (laughs) we're on a a path one day yeah if anyone (laughs) wants to edit all of these for us let us know (laughs) yeah (laughs) all right bye guys thank you bye